last night in the start. And we, we had to be better. And, um, you know, we got better as the game went on. Our second period was real strong. And then, obviously, we got it rolling in the third. We were tough to stop. We were getting underneath their defensemen, getting pucks to the net and, uh, you know, put, put some real heat on them. So a big win for us, no question about it. Whenever you beat a team of that caliber, it's special. And, you know, uh, we're not football, so you got to play them twice. Here's the second game tonight. And uh, they're going to be hungry. They're going to be owly. And, they don't take losing very well, and uh, which they shouldn't. Uh, they're used to winning, and uh, we got some work ahead of us here. And one question we asked here in our team meeting. We need from you tonight. They all said they did, so, you know, uh, they know what they need to do, but now it's the matter of stepping on the ice and doing it. Dawson DiPietro had a goal for you in a, a power play. Ethan Frank scored. What a beautiful pass from Mike Joyo, uh, who was down along the goal line, threw it back to Ethan. Hey, we thought that line was was really good. Uh, Drew Warrad in the middle. Ethan Frank on the right side played his best game in the last eight games and certainly we thought Josh Passo was real good as well that line was good and Mikey Joyo was our best defenseman last night he moved the puck effectively that was a great pass but that unit had spent the previous 25 seconds in their zone we had worn them out we've got a quick change so their players that were on the ice were tired of having faced our other line and then we got new guys out there and they couldn't get off the ice and we kept handling the puck and yeah, great vision and a quick release. And Josh Passholt did a great job of handling the or handling the front of the net, drawing the traffic to him, and Ethan was wide open. Austin Rushoff got the tying goal last night. That was a that was an NHL shot by Austin Rushoff. Yeah, it was it was Rush's first shot of the night, which uh, is not normal for him. And, and obviously, you, know, you you listen to my post game comments there, where I mentioned to him. Um, the shift before when he came off the ice, I, I thought he'd had some tough shifts. And I did mention to him that if his next shift was not better, that was his last one for the night. And he steps on the ice and gets that puck and blasts it in the top corner. Real nice play by Hugh McGing. Yeah, then Hugh uh, scored the go-ahead goal, and then Jason Poland chipped in the insurance tally, and you held him off the rest of the way. Yeah, I mean, it was a great plat pass by Cam Lee, uh, Hugh McGing, and he was in tight on Shepard, but managed to lift it. It was, a, it was a great goal. And then, you know, Dawson DiPietro, some good puck movement down low, and he brought it up, found Jason Poland. And Jason's a, a young guy that knows where to go, he has a stick on the ice, and because of that, uh, he got another big goal for us. Let's take a break. We'll come back and talk more about tonight's matchup with Duluth after timeout on the Bronco Radio Network.
with Andy Murray, Western Michigan, and the Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs in Game 2 of a weekend series. Andy, I thought Brandon Bussey played pretty well last night. Uh, they got a couple of power play goals on him, but uh, he shut the door when you needed him to there in the third period. He, he certainly did, and, and you know, made a, a, a big save on a breakaway there in the second as well. And, you know, we, uh, the one power play goal that they scored from the top, on the top of the circle on the one side. I think he'd like to have that one back. That's one save he normally makes. But, you know, he, he was good. He was solid. His puck touches were were real good. And, uh, you know, you, you, if you're going to win, uh, you, you got to have a good goal. Duluth has lost only two games in the last 90 or so when they've led going into the third period. The only two times they've lost in that situation. It's been to Western Michigan, including last night. Yep. Here at Lawson, I think it was December a year and a half ago, I guess almost, or a year ago, that uh, we came from behind and beat them in the third period. And last night, we did as well. Obviously, that's not a stat I shared with my team between the second and third when we were trailing. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they just play such solid hockey. They, they check. They hang on to the puck. They're physical. They lean on you. They stand you up. They box out. They make it tough to get the net. It's tough to score on them. Let's take another break. We'll come back and talk about the Bronco lineup and look at uh, the Duluth lineup going into tonight's game, two after timeout on the Bronco Radio Network. With Andy Murray, Western Michigan, and Duluth coming up, and uh, they made a couple of changes they had to because of an injury last night. Uh, it was uh, wow, it was scary. Yeah, I mean, uh, last night was a real physical game. I mean, we heard from a, a lot of NHL scouts that it's the best college game they've been at for a few months. And, you know, there's, there's a couple of reasons for that. First of all, the building was electric. So you come into the building, whether you're a scout or a fan, you get, you get excited. And then uh, we kind of, kind of fueled the excitement, and so did Duluth. I mean, they hit our guys, we hit their guys, and, and certainly they lost Jackson Cates, who's a, who's a good player for them. And... Uh, uh, I believe it's a shoulder separation, but um, yeah, I mean, it was a physical hockey game last night. You got some really good players all over the lineup, Andy. Uh, they don't have any weak lines, <laughs> kind of like the Broncos in that regard. Yeah, I mean, their their depth is is uh, real good on the blue line, certainly up front as well. They're, they've got big bodies. They skate really well. They put pressure on you. And, 
uh, you know, they've got an all-world goalie in, in Shepard there. So uh, we know that it's going to need to be a, a tight checking game. We can't not allow them to uh, get a lead on us. We need to be smart about last night. We came back after they got the first goal, and we'd certainly like to get the first one tonight. If we don't, we, we obviously still have a recipe to be successful, but it certainly helps when you get the first one. All right, no changes in the Bronco lineup. Uh, no sense in changing. Go, let's work it. Yeah, I mean, this is basically the lineup that we played with, Robin, since the second game up in Duluth early in January. And, and uh, you know, uh, we've got other guys that haven't had the chance to dress here uh, because we've gone with a set lineup. And the, the issue is, is those guys are working extremely hard and you'd like to get them in. But the bottom line is for somebody to get in the lineup, First of all, they have to be deserving by giving us effort and practice and showing us they're ready. And they, they've done that. The other side of it is there has to be somebody that shows that he doesn't deserve to be in there that's not getting the job done. And and, and we haven't had that here. Our, our guys have stepped up. And if they've maybe had one game that wasn't at their normal level, we remind them of that, indicate what they need to do, and they've responded. So uh, we've got some guys that can play better than they played last night, and that's encouraging. Uh, we'll be back and get Andy's keys to tonight's game after timeout on the Bronco Radio Network. Back to wrap it up with Coach Murray, Western Michigan, and the UMD Bulldogs. Andy, what's it going to take tonight to get a sweep here? I mean, you need to be smart. You uh, need to play with composure. The referees let the guys play last night. They, they they let them play physical, but we need to be smart with that. We can't be retaliating at all. we got to play with composure. Um, you know, we, we've got to continue to play fast. That's the key to our game is get the puck going north as quickly as we can. And then we need to continue a heavy game. We've got to win puck battles in all three zones. We need second man support. And we've got to create offensive under t opportunities down low in their zone by going underneath them to the net with our quickness. So beat your beat your opponent to the net and get there and you get a chance to bury one. Bury one. You're in our zone. Let's keep them to the outside. Let's protect the house. Let's protect Lawson. Let's protect the prime scoring areas here and uh, win a big hockey game. Andy, thanks for the time. We'll talk to you afterward. Thanks, Robin. We'll be back with the starting lineups next. This is Western Michigan Hockey on the Bronco Radio Network.
Well, last night the Broncos were trailing three to two after two periods of play and would need to come from behind in order to pick up three points against the defending national champs and fourth ranked UMD Bulldogs, and they did just that. It started with a big goal from the biggest of the Broncos. Well, 50 left of the third. 3-2 Bulldogs. Broncos have it back at their own end. This is Samuelson. Matias up the right to McGing. Over the line to Rushoff. Walks into it. He scores! Austin Rushoff upstairs under the crossbar. And the Broncos have tied it at three. With 12.38 left to go in the third. Austin with his ninth of the season. Snipes one under the bar. Austin Rushoff, are you kidding me? An absolute missile from the top of the right circle. And that thing finds itself just underneath the bar. No chance for Hunter Shepard. And Rushoff, big bomb, puts the Broncos at a tie game. Austin Rushoff got all six feet seven inches into that one, and the Broncos had tied the game. Then the captain went to work and gave the Broncos a lead for good just seconds later. Somehow, here's Kingston through the neutral zone. In with a burst on the left. Into the corner. He's in there deep with Cole Gallant. Cole's got it. Back to Cam Lee. Cam works to the dot. In front. Side of the goalie. Score! Human game. 4-3 Western Michigan. Cam Lee makes a defender miss. He curls around to the left-hand side, and he sees Hugh McGing creeping at the back door, seeing I pass through traffic right on the captain's stick. And Hugh McGing gives the Broncos a lead here, 12.09 in the third period. This building is going nuts. Oh, what a great start to the third by the Broncos. They tie it on the Rushoff goal, and seconds later take the lead on Hugh McGing's ninth of the season. 4-3 Western Michigan. That was the game winner. Jason Poland would add the insurance goal later, and the Broncos went on to win it by a score of 5-3. Can they get the sweep here tonight? We're going to find out. Time now for our Shoe Pan and Sun starting lineups. Shoe Pan creating a better environment through recycling. Four visiting UMD starting up front on left wing. Sophomore from Hermantown, Minnesota, Cole Kepke. At center, a junior from Columbus, Ohio, Justin Richards. And on the right side, a sophomore from Edmonton, Alberta, Tanner Latteroots. On defense, their captain from Egan, Minnesota, 6'5", Nick Wolf, a senior. And junior from Hibbing, Minnesota, St. Louis Blues draft pick, Scott Perunovich. In goal from Cohasset, Minnesota, senior Hunter Shepard. A goals against a 2-3-5, a save percentage of 9-12. For Western Michigan up front on left wing, a senior from Modena, Ohio, Dawson DiPietro. At center, a junior from Wentzville, Missouri, Austin Rushoff. And on the right side, senior from Myrtle, Manitoba, Wade Allison. On defense, a senior from Ferguson's Cove, Nova Scotia, Cam Lee. And a senior from Parrish, Florida, Luke Pafia. And in goal, the freshman from Sound Beach, New York, Brandon Bussey. He has a goals against a 2.65, a save percentage of 9-1-0. He has a record of 16-10-3 in goal for Western Michigan. It's the Broncos and the UMD Bulldogs. We'll drop the puck in a moment in the Bronco Radio Network.
play right through this break. Did Bronson Sports Medicine play? Did that skip that, Jim? Let's pause now 10 seconds, let our network stations identify themselves. This is the Bronco Radio Network. Ceremonial puck drop here tonight featuring three great Western Michigan quarterbacks, all alums, who went on to win some prestigious awards. Of course, Zach Terrell is in the middle, led the Broncos to the MAC championship in a Cotton Bowl berth, and was the 2016 Campbell Trophy winner, the Heisman, the academic Heisman of college football, and then he was flanked by two Werfel Trophy winners, Mr. Hiller and Mr. Wassing. That's legend status out there. Those guys could sling it and Excellent people off the field as well. Awesome to see. Glad you could join us tonight on NCHC TV and the Bronco Radio Network. Broncos in the home white. The loop in the road maroon, and we're underway. Bulldogs control the draw. Here's the lead to center that's intercepted by Cam Lee. Lee retreats back into his own zone to regroup. Moves it up the wall to Rushaw, who taps it ahead. Now we get a penalty here early in the game. Broncos have been so good this year. Minnesota jumping out of the gun. Five, two minutes interference. Quick off the draw again here tonight. And the Minnesota Duluth captain Wolf interferes in the neutral zone to stop the Bronco rush. And just 14 seconds in, the Broncos on the Penn Station power play with a chance to jump on top. Broncos 22nd in the nation on the man advantage at 20.2%. Duluth on the kill ranks 33rd at 80.9. Broncos on the man advantage. Presented by Penn Station. This is Cam Lee, works to the middle now, back to the circle on the left for a Di Pietro blast and a knockaway by the goaltender Shepard. And the Bulldogs get it clear. Here's a shorthanded breakaway for Richards. In on goal, wait, shoots and scores. Justin Richards with a shorthanded breakaway on the backhand. And it's one to nothing, UMD. 35 seconds into the game. 
Yeah, off the Dawson DiPietro shot that was blocked. A couple Broncos had trouble locating the puck, and as Minnesota Duluth begins the breakout, some uncertainty on the blue line. Ron Yatter was about to pinch in, decided not to, but Richards flying up through the middle, collects that pass and takes it alone, buries it. one nothing Bulldogs on top here. A lot of hockey to play, though. Here's Adder back in his own end. Gives it up to Joyle. Had a great game last night. Up it comes to Drew Warad. He'll tap into the corner. Deep in the Duluth zone. Oh, center to Adder, who was on the doorstep. He couldn't knock it down. Comes back to the point. Joyo will regroup in the neutral zone. One minute gone in the first period. Broncos on the power play for a minute 13. Penn Station power play as Warad takes it to the blue line. Picked up there now by Josh Passel. He'll wheel back into the neutral zone and set it up again with a minute to go on the man advantage. 1-0 Duluth on the shorty by Richards. Here's Passel up the left side for Washing. Into the corner. Broncos in hard on the forecheck. It's in behind the net. Gathered up by the Bulldogs, and they'll clear it down the ice. 46 seconds left to go on the interference penalty to Nick Wolf. 18-28 left in the first. one nothing. Minnesota Duluth. Up the left side, here's Cam Lee. In with a burst. Over the line. Driving to the net. Takes the shot. Missed the net. Comes back to the right point. Sophia kept it in. Turns it to Cam Lee, who shoots right on the doorstep. Shepard with a save. Poke behind the goal. Played there by Allison. Wade back to Cam Lee on the left. Side steps. Jade Miller walks in. Shoots. Shepard with a save. Rebound side of the goal. Now behind the net. Handled there by Di Pietro. Trying to set up Ruchov. Now Di Pietro with it. Left circle back to Cam Lee for a shot. It deflects up into the netting out of play with nine seconds left in the power play. Finally, the Broncos get that power play in the offensive zone, set up shop, and some good chances come of it. Moving the puck around the perimeter, trying to get some traffic in front of Hunter Shepard and put shots on net. Hunter Shepard will make the one big save, and then a puck deflected up and out of play on the Cam Lee shot. McGing on the draw against Richards. Hugh won it. Then it's deflected over to Cole Kepke. He'll carry it down the ice. Poke checked away by Samuelson on a nice play. Comes back out of the zone to center, and Wolf is out of the box. Sandberg plays it back to his own zone. Now Richards with it. McGinn poke checked it away. Back after it is Scott Perunovic. St. Louis Blues draft selection. Rockles hold it in. On the left side, McGing reversed it for Samuelson, and the pass was behind him. Good idea, but uh, didn't convert. 17-17 left on the first, one nothing. UMD on top. Broncos set up in their own zone. Jared Kucherik plays it up the left side for Samuelson and played down the ice. Wolf back after behind his own net. He's bothered there by Frank. Frank pokes it to Passel. Josh throws it at the net. Perunovic right there to knock it away. Bulldogs try and get it clear. They can't. Broncos hold it in. Here's Passel with a shot. That one over the crossbar. Plays over on the left side, and it's whacked down the ice by the Bulldogs. Bussy in behind his end line. Leaves it there for Joyo. Mike Joyo up the left side for Kucherik. Kucherik skating ahead. Pokes it to Washi, intercepted now by the Bulldogs. Wolf sends it to Olsen. Then intercepted by the Broncos, played by Washi. Washi plays it in the corner. Jason Poland in after. Now around on the right for Courtnall. Lawton got it to Poland, and it's picked off by the Bulldogs. Broncos can't hold it in. Here comes Noah Cates. And he's offside, whistled down. Well, an interesting start to this one. Broncos come out flying right out of the gates and draw a penalty, but. Minnesota Duluth takes advantage and scores a shorthanded goal. They lead one to nothing, but Broncos have been able to recover, pushing the pace a little bit again, using that forecheck to their advantage, which has been successful for them in the past. Broncos got down last night one to nothing. They got down last Saturday one to nothing in Miami and rallied back to win both of those games. See if they can do it again here tonight. Ruschoff on the faceoff. And he won it back to Bafia. He'll head back deep in his own zone. Played it behind the net. Tapped up the boards by Ruschoff to center for Di Pietro. Dawson sweeps it in. Karam's in behind the net. Wade Allison in there hard on the four check. Couldn't come up with it. It's played to the half wall on the left side. Broncos 
Try and hold it in. Now penalty coming up to Western Michigan. Pucks touched up by the Bulldogs. They'll get their netminder off as soon as uh, it comes out of the zone. And here he comes. Extra attacker for Duluth up the right side of Cates. Oh, Cates with a shot. Bussy makes the save and holds on. And now the Broncos will be shorthanded to the number two team in the nation on the power play at better than 27%. Minnesota Duluth ranks Western second. Michigan, number nine, two minutes for tripping. Duluth ranks second only to Harvard on the power play. And Western Michigan got the work cut out for him here. Uh, Duluth two for four last night on the man advantage. And there's Dawson DiPietro trying to win a board battle. Attempts to sweep the puck and gets the opponent's skates instead. So DiPietro to the box and the Broncos get the work on the penalty kill. Richards, who had a shorthanded goal in the opening minute, wins the draw back to Kepke with a drive. That was knocked away and then cleared by Western Michigan. Di Pietro in the box for a trip. Bulldogs set up for the breakout. 27.5% on the power play. That is amazing. Here's Olsen over on the right. Reversed over on the left side. Holding it there is Cole Kepke. To Hildeman at center point. Shot by Kepke went off the back glass and comes all the way out to center. Back after it, Jared Hildeman to center ice. Poked away by the Broncos, Washi. And Washi backhands it into the zone. Minute 15 left of the power play. 14-49 left of the first. one nothing. UMD on top. A shorthanded goal by Richards. Here's Perunovic up the right side of Sweeney. He'll tap it in. Running it down, Buffia moves it out to Cole Gallant. Can't get it clear. Comes back in behind Basile. Send it all the way around and chipped out by McGing to center. Sandberg with it. Dylan Sandberg, where's number four? Here's Swainy through the neutral zone. Over the line to Cates. Oh, Cates lays it behind the goal. Back to the left point. Over to the right point, Sandberg. In deep for Noah Cates. Back to the blue line, Perunovic. There's the drive by Sandberg. Big pad saved by Bussey. Comes back to Sandberg at the point. Sends it in deep for Cates. Battle for it in front of the net. Bussey finds it and holds it. 17 seconds left to go on the Duluth power play. Yeah, nice work there by Brandon Bussey. Makes a couple of nice saves with Duluth pressuring. And there as the puck is kind of pinballing right at the top of the blue paint. He gets down, locates it, and just covers it up for safety. 17 seconds remain on this kill, and face off the left-hand side of Bussey. Noah Cates to take the draw. Played behind the net, picked up by Adder. He'll fire it out to center. Bulldogs regroup. Eight seconds left in the penalty to Di Pietro. Cross ice pass, Perunovic. He's in with a burst on the left side. Stick handles and taps it in deep. Samuelson there to play, tried to wrap it around. It deflects back behind the net. Dug out of the corner by Quinn Olson. Olson in there deep. Plays it to Cates. Now over on the right side, Broncos trying to clear. Can't. Sundberg held it in. Now the Broncos pick it off, and Samuelson taps it out in front of the Bronco bench. Bulldogs are right back in. Sweeney with a shot. Catch by Bussey. He'll hold it. And then one of the Broncos down in the neutral zone. Behind the play. It's Di Pietro, I think. Yeah, Di Pietro got clipped there behind the play. Pucks in the Bronco end. This is all the way at the opposite blue line. The ref's going to talk about it. We're going to go to a timeout. 13.07 up in the first. Bulldogs get a shorty in the opening minute from Justin Richards and lead it one to nothing. This is Western Michigan Hockey on NCHC TV and the Bronco Radio Network. Thirteen oh seven left in the first. No penalty. 
Bulldogs are without Jackson Cates tonight. He was injured last night as he tumbled in behind the end line after he went somersaulting over Paul Washington. Face off, stick side of Bussey. Ruchoff will take the draw against Richards. Sticks are down. And the Broncos win it. Samuelson will carry it away. Reverse tip for Wade Allison. He's in on the right, knocks it down off the wall with those great hands of his. Then he lost an edge and fell down with some contact. The puck's played back into the Broncos' zone. Added there to play. Cross for Samuelson. Matias up to Wade on the left side of the neutral zone. Wade, Frank, Ruchoff all battling for the puck. Adder knocks it down back in his own zone. Over to Samuelson, reversed it to Ruchoff. He's in on right wing. Ruchoff on his forehand, takes the shot. Stick save there by Hunter Shepard. It's cleared to center ice, now picked up by Frank. Ethan drives it back in there as the Broncos make a line change. 2.23 left in the first, 1 0. UMD on top. Broncos hold it in. Gallant on the wall fell down as he gathered the puck up and is played away by Barunovic. Barunovic moves it out to center. It goes all the way down the ice. Played there by Bussy, side of his net. Picked up by Kucherik. Jared moves it to the wall and carried out by Rhett Kingston. He'll wheel and fire it down the ice where it's picked up by the Bulldogs. They turn it over to the neutral zone, then they get it right back. Now Miller's got it in front of his own bench and taps it back to Perunovic. 11.47 up to the first. one nothing. Minnesota Duluth on top. Puck goes all the way down. Bussy there to play it. Sends it to the corner for Luke Pafia. He'll stretch it to center for Passel, who taps it off the wall and into the UMD zone. Broncos head in after it with Frank Passel. And Warad, the forward line, comes back to center, and Pafia back after it for the Broncos. Moves it to Warad to center ice over the line. Warad up the slot with a shot, tapped away. Never got through. To the neutral zone. This is Omquist, shoots it in. Rims it around. Picked up by Bafia. And it deflects back in deep. And Bussy will play it in behind his own goal line. And will leave it there for Bafia. And the aviation major from Florida. Moves it along the wall for Cam Lee. Lee to center ice. Cam over the line with Warad. Warad works to the middle, takes the shot. It deflected, and it's cleared out of there by the Bulldogs' Louis Rail. Out back come the Bulldogs, and there's a hustle play by Lawton Courtnall. Got back and took the puck away. Bounces back near the blue line, cleared out of there by Jason Polden. Played now by Matt Anderson back in his own zone. Picked up by Noah Cates to Olsen through the neutral zone. Back checking was Poland, picks it off. Here's Courtnall, one man back is Wolf. Courtnall stays on his feet, throws it in front. Washi couldn't quite reach it. It's back of the blue line and cleared to center where Poland plays it back to his D-man, Samuelson, as Western Michigan changes. So we do the midway mark of the first period. 1-0. Minnesota Duluth on top on a shorthanded goal by Richards. Tapped in by Ruchop. And the Broncos will wheel back and uh, get a whistle. And we'll go to a timeout with 9.58 left of the first. Bulldogs won. Western Michigan nothing. This is Bronco Hockey on NCHC TV and the Western Michigan Radio Network. Two. First period presented in part by First National Bank of Michigan. Together, we are first. A 
with the draw in the neutral zone. Horton all after it there, and it came back in offside. You know, I made mention of this last night with these two teams taking away so much space on the ice. It seems a lot of the game is being played blue line to blue line and both teams having a hard time breaking into the zone with the puck or breaking out of the zone with the puck. It's a physical game and no space out there. Washi on the draw. They're going to do it again. Richards complaining about Washi who gets a lot of that from the opposing sentiment. He's so good at the draws. Eric Frank to drop it. Sticks her down, and it's won this time by Richards. To Perunovic, fires it the length of the ice. Bussey plays the puck to the corner. And Adderd pokes it out to center. Back in come the Bulldogs. Ladder up, shoots it in. Adderd runs it down, pokes it ahead to Jason Poland. Pulling for the Broncos, throws it across to Samuelson. He'll turn and fire it in. Wolf knocks it down just inside the blue line. Lifts it back to center. Adderd back after. one nothing. Bulldogs on top, 9-20 left. Period number one. Over the line comes D.P. Etro with a burst. Shoots right on. Save made by Hunter Shepard. Rebound, Karam to the corner. And down the ice it comes. Played now by Cam Lee. Ahead to D.P. Etro. Knocks it down. He's in with Allison. D.P. Etro with another shot. That one missed the net. Comes back to the blue line. Fafia can't hold it in. It was bouncing. Fafia backpedaling near the Bronco bench. Moves it to Di Pietro. Here comes Dawson again. Over the line with Allison. And Polk checked away and whistled offside. 8.52 left in the first. Bulldogs lead a one to nothing. Richards with a shorthand to goal. And that Bronco top unit there, Di Pietro, Allison, Rushoff able to get the puck in the offense a couple of times. One shot, nice shot on goal by DiPietro, and as he goes for the second one, Puck looks like it chipped up on its end right as he released it. Sailed about three feet high in the net. McGing on the faceoff. Bulldogs win it. And they played out to center. Joyo there to run it down. He'll retreat in his own zone. Goes D to D to Kucherik. Throws it back behind the Bronco net for Joyo. Mike reverses it to McGing at center. Here comes McGing over the line. Sends it across for Cole Gallant. Picked off by Anderson. Collision in the corner. Puck is loose at the half wall. Broncos try and hold it in. Can it deflects back down the ice, and Kucherik will play. Jared Kucherik ahead of McGing. He's in with a burst on the left side. Here to the net. Shot was blocked. Deflected to the corner. And picked up now by Ben Omquist. Way down the ice. Picked up by Kucherik in his own end. D to D to Choyo. Reverse to Kingston. Carried in by Kucherik. Taps it up the wall on the left side. And it deflects back out of the zone to center. Frank runs it down. Ethan taps it back to Cam Lee. Cam up the left side for Warad. Drew Warad. And Frank. And pass at the forward line. Comes back to Lee. Holds it in. Sends it in behind the goal. All the way around to the corner on the right. Almquist. Got a piece of it. It's played back to the blue line and carried away by the Bulldogs. Tanner Latterud. Latterud shoots it in. Collides with Bafia. Broncos break back out. Here comes Passled with a burst right up the middle. Passled on his forehand through traffic and plays it to the corner. Runs it down there. Josh Passled. Went down in the corner. Battled for the loose puck. Dug out of there by the Bulldogs and back they come. Played to center ice. Jocks took a bump from Samuelson, and Adderd plays the puck behind his own net. Seven minutes left in the first. one nothing Bulldogs. He scored at the 35-second mark of the first on a shorty by Richards. Played in deep on the end wall. After it, Perunovic, and Scott Perunovic fires it down the ice. Samuelson back after the puck. Beat Tanner Latteru to it. Broncos break back over the line on the right with Poland. Jason pulls up at the half wall, sends it into the corner. Now in there deep is Samuelson on the back line. Samuelson in behind the goal. Intercepted by the Bulldogs, and back comes Richards. Over on the left to Cole Kepke. Kepke with a shot stick saved by Bussey. Broncos hustle back. Here they come with a two-on-two. Courtnall and Washi over the line. Now joining the play is Wade Allison. His shot was blocked into the corner. Wade runs it down there. 
Had to poke it back to the point. And the Bulldogs chip it out of there. DiPietro just out. Taps it down with a glove and plays it ahead of Allison. Wade in behind the goal. Wade into the corner on the left. Centers it. Ruschoff stick handling through. Tap it. He shoots and scores. Austin Ruschoff. Are you kidding me? Those are some sick hands right there, baby. I mean, Austin Ruschoff with 30 dangles right in front of Hunter Shepard. Wade Allison feeds that puck into the slot. Ruschoff throws it between the defender's legs and then does it again for good measure before he rips it top shelf behind Hunter Shepard. That is a highlight reel goal by the big guy. Broncos tied up at one. You don't look for those kind of plays out of the big dudes. That's a little guy play. He, but, he, holy cow. He had that puck on a string. Ties the game at one. 5.58 left in the first period. Austin Ruschoff, that was a sick play for his 10th goal of the season. Cam Lee to pass at center. Picked up by the Bulldogs. Olsen shoots it off the back wall behind the Bronco net. Gathered up now by Passel. Can't get it clear. Held in by the Bulldogs. Now, Bafia runs it down. Bafia to Warad. Battle in the neutral zone. Warad won it back to Cam Lee, who skates it through the neutral zone and will carry it in on the left side. Cam is in up the wall. Got bumped off the puck. Back after it is Gallant. Played behind the net. Held in by the Broncos at the half wall. Gallant tried to throw it in deep to McGing. Intercepted by the Bulldogs. And back they come. This is Sweeney through the neutral zone. Sweeney over the line with a shot. Stick save. Bussy steers it away to McGing. Hugh taps it out to Kingston. He collides with Jay Miller. Broncos play it. Cam Lee got turned around. Threw the puck over by the Bulldog bench. And it's Gathered up there by Kobe Ra. Now Perunovic in behind the net. Chips it out to center. Picked up by Paul Washi just out, and his pass deflects off Nick Wolf out of play as we go to a timeout. 4.44 left in the first. Shots are seven apiece. Game is tied at one. This is NCHC TV and the Bronco Radio Network. One one tie, 4.44 to go in the first. Austin Ruschoff at 14.02 from Allison and DiPietro, that red hot line, man. They have just been dynamite in this uh, stretch of games that has seen the Broncos go 9 1 and 2 in their last 12. Austin Ruschoff now on an eight game point streak. Five goals, eight assists over his last eight games. And really the motor on that line right now. Bulldogs at center. Perunovic plays it. Comes back into the Broncos zone. Western Michigan able to run it down. Kucherik got it to Gallant. Gallant over the line with Kingston. Cole with a shot. Shepard down with the pads. Pins it and holds. Not a lot of Space there as Cole Gallant brought the puck in one on three, so he just kind of floats a bouncer in on Hunter Shepard, makes Hunter Shepard uh, cover it up. Broncos get a fresh line out there. They send the Ruschoff, Allison, Deep Pietro line right back out for an offensive zone faceoff. Rush will take the drop. 
Jake Miller will take it for Duluth, and Miller won it. Over to Kobe Roth. Roth in front of the Duluth bench. Had a poke checked away by Mikey Joyo. Those are the little things that Joyo does that don't go unnoticed by the coaches. They said he was the best D-man for Western Michigan last night. Here comes a break opportunity for Miller, and on goal, save made by Pussy, and it's cleared back down the ice. Miller got through with his speed, took it to the net, but Pussy made the stop as he held his ground in the paint. Back behind the net is Joyo. Got it away to Wade Allison. Wade will carry it off a toe drag. Tried to flip it across on the right for Ruschoff. It was deflected away. Bouncing at center. Kepke's in on the right side. Drops it back for the trailer. Didn't get through. DiPietro bumped it into the corner. Now Washi's after it. DiPietro comes up with it and flips it up high and down the ice. Rockos complete that change with 3.22 to go in the first. 1-1 hockey game. Richard shorthanded early for Bulldogs and then Rusha with a highlight rail goal. Tied it at one here in the first period. Back after it, Ronnie added in behind his own net. Surveys there and out he comes. Moves it up to Samuelson, his D partner, to Jason Poland. Poked at it and Samuelson got it back. Reflects to Ronnie added back at his own line. Out of center, added, shoots it in. And that one sailed into the seats. Look out over there. That came in hot in the section 22. Yeah, a little deflection right off the dump in, up and out of play. I think that actually might have cleared everyone and hit the top wall. So Usher staff will go check on him and face off in the neutral zone just under three minutes to go here in the first. 252 left. Shots are 10 7 to Luke. Game is tied at one. Bafia hammers it in off the faceoff. Bulldogs gathered up in their zone. There's Sweeney. Feathers it ahead to Cates. And it's tapped in behind the net. Bussy there to rim it around. And out comes Drew Warhead. He'll carry it. Then tried to reverse it. It hit a skate and deflects into the Duluth zone. Dylan Sandberg back after it. Warhead in on the forecheck, trying to knock it away. And he does. Hasselt and Warhead have it in the corner. Hasselt's got it. Tried to throw it at the net. Got a shot on. And a pad save with the right pad by Hunter Shepard. Puck at the blue line and offside with Cates and Quinn Olson trying to handle it at the Bronco line. And Luke Pafia standing this ground right at the blue line. And a nice play there is he's able to get a stick on the puck and disrupt the pass so that the other Duluth forwards go in off sides on the initial play. 1-1 one, one tie. Base off at center, Kobe Roth moves it across on the left to Matt Anderson. He'll fire it at the net. Stick save by Bussy. Third back and out of the zone by the Broncos. Here's Hugh McGang. Got uh, upended. Kingston comes away with it. Brett fires it into the corner. In on the four check, Warad can't come up with it. Played by the Bulldogs, and then an outlet to Roth was deflected by Joyo up into the Lunatics. 150 to go in the first. Broncos won, Bulldogs won. Shots are 12 7, Duluth. Justin Richards at the 35 second mark with a shorthanded goal is 11th from Kepke. Then Rusha at 14.02. With some slick moves in the slot from Allison and DiPietro. Tied it at one. Bruce playing in his 101st game as a Bronco. A nice goal to cap it off, too. Bruce, along with Bafia, also an aviation major at the renowned Western Michigan Aviation School. Sticks her down. And the draw is won by Richards. Good faceoff, man. Now Poland knocks it down at center. Heads in. Here's a three on two. Washi over the line. Pulls up. Takes the shot. Deflected by a stick over to the left side. Picked up there by Courtenall. Plays it to the corner. Now intercepted by the Bulldogs. And Perunovic moves it out to Kepke. Poke checked away, though, by Samuelson. And Jason Poland came up with it. Back to Samuelson, who 
Plays it out to Courtnall. Washi got a stick on it. Now Poland after it. Taken back by Wolf. Fed to center and DiPietro just out. Intercepts and flips it into the loss and lunatics. Who, by the way, are wearing their campus court at Knollwood. Sweet looking sunglasses for spring break coming up here in a couple of weeks. Yeah, I might see some uh, some pairs of those hanging out on the beach here as the lunatics they headed for warmer weather coming up. Could have used them today in Kalamazoo. My goodness. Loving the bright sunshine here in February. Broncos play it in on the left. After it in the corner. Rushov and Allison. Wade in the corner, giving a rough ride. Di Pietro comes in there trying to come up with it. Sandberg and Allison going at it in the corner. Finally, Sandberg comes away with it. Lost it to Di Pietro, tried to wrap around. And it was knocked away by Cates and cleared down the ice by the Bulldogs. Cam Lee back to run it down. 38 seconds left of the first tied at a goal apiece. Comes up the wall. Bulldogs hold it in. Sandberg reverses it over on the left. Fanning on the shot was Louis Rail. Held it in. Now it's poked back up the boards and picked up by Allison. He'll tap it to himself up the right side. Ahead it comes to Cam Lee. He's in with DiPietro. Cam tried to toe drag. Now he plays it in behind the net. Carries it over on the left side. Turns, fires at the goal. Stick saved by Shepard. 11 seconds left in the period. Di Pietro leaves it for Cam, throws it in front. Shot by Gallant, didn't get through. Held into the blue line. Turning with it with three seconds to go is Cam Lee. Got to get a shot away, he does. And the horn sounds. Period number one comes to an end. We're tied at one after one as Western Michigan once again found itself down one to nothing. Justin Richards with a shorthanded goal. The Broncos were on a Penn Station power play early in the first period, but Justin Richards broke loose and took it down the ice for his 11th goal of the season. Cole Kempke with the assist on that breakaway shorthanded goal by Justin Richards. Then at 14.02, Austin Rushoff showed off his toolbox with his 10th goal of the season. Wade Allison and Dawson DiPietro with the assist. Last night it was a Rushoff bomb from the right circle. This time it was a little dipsy do up the middle. Yeah, he, he's, he's got it all in the offensive zone. Those are just two different types of goals he can score, but the thing is he's got the, the passing and he's got that four check to go along with it. He is a threat on the positive side of the ice for the Broncos. Shots on goal in that uh, first period, 12 for Minnesota Duluth, seven for Western Michigan. Bulldogs 0 for 1 on the power play. Western Michigan 0 for 1 on the power play. Each team penalized once for two minutes. Di Pietro for tripping and Nick Wolf for interference. Brandon Bussey with 11 saves on 12 Bulldog shots. Hunter Shepard stops 6 of 7 Western Michigan shots. Those are your Mercantile Bank intermission stats. Mercantile gets it. Visit MerkBank.com, member FDIC. We'll be back with our first National Bank of Michigan first intermission after this on the Bronco Radio Network.
Back in our first National Bank of Michigan, first intermission, intermission, first National Bank of Michigan to gather, we are first. Well, as we look at the uh, standings going into play tonight, Alex, North Dakota firmly in first place with 47 points. How about their record? 14 wins, two losses, three ties in conference play. You know, it's it's one of those things. A lot of a lot of people in the media kind of thought that they might see maybe a second down year for for their program standards and uh you know boy that, that team just seems to to retool and, and throw a great roster out there and the environment up in that home crowd and the history there they've they've once again put together a, a great season and yeah it's uh it's all in their hands right now in the nchc and the broncos will be in grand forks next weekend to take on the fighting hawks in second place, Minnesota Duluth with 38 points, nine points back of the leaders, and then the Broncos just three points back in third place. If Western Michigan could pull out a win here tonight and get the sweep, they'd move into a first place tie, uh, a second place tie, I should say, with the Minnesota Duluth Bulldogs. And Denver in fourth place with 31 points, St. Cloud in fifth with 27, Omaha in sixth with 24, Miami in seventh with 14 points, and Colorado College at uh, the cellar in eighth place with 12 points. You missed the scores from last night. Of course, the Broncos defeated Minnesota Duluth 5-3. to three. It was St. Cloud and North Dakota skating to a 3-3 overtime tie, and St. Cloud took the extra point in the shootout. At Omaha, the Mavericks shut out Colorado College 5 to nothing, and at Denver, Magnus Arena, Pioneers put seven on Miami in a seven to three victory over the Red Hawks. Same matchups tonight. Duluth here against the Broncos, North Dakota at St. Cloud. CC's at Omaha, Denver hosting Miami. Broncos won and the Bulldogs won. We'll hear how Western Michigan tied this one up when we return in a moment on the Bronco Radio Network.
Rocco Hockey brought to you all season long by Greenlee Trust. Financial security from generation to generation. Trust is in their name for a reason. They've earned it. And by Shoepan. They know metal and plastic inside and out, creating a better environment through recycling. Join us before every Bronco broadcast with a Maple Hill Subaru Bronco Countdown pregame show. Maple Hill Subaru for a journey like no other. And with the Broncos travel, it's on Indian Trails. They feature top flight buses and superhero support. Visit IndianTrails.com for details. Sure to pick up a game program every time you come to a Western Michigan Bronco event. And to see that Michelle's ad, your game day program, you'll save 10% on your next food check at Michelle's Restaurants. They have five locations. There's one near you. And now's the time to plan for those exterior home improvement projects during Blackberry Home Improvement Specialist preseason home improvement sale. Replacement windows and doors, roofing and siding, sunrooms and decks. Preseason savings won't last long, so call 1-800-732-9400 or visit BlackberrySystems.com. 18 months, no interest in the preseason home improvement sale with Blackberry Home Improvement Specialists. Broncos were down one to nothing after going on a power play in the opening seconds of the game. Broncos gave up a shorthanded breakaway goal to Justin Richards. Cole Kepke with the assist. It was one to nothing. Minnesota Duluth until the 14-02 mark when the Broncos tied it up on a spectacular goal by the tallest of the Broncos. Caps it down with a glove and plays it ahead of Allison. Wade in behind the goal. Wade into the corner on the left. Centers it. Ruschoff stick handling through traffic. He shoots and scores. Austin Ruschoff. Are you kidding me? Those are some sick hands right there, baby. I mean, Austin Ruschoff with 30 dangles right in front of Hunter Shepard. Wade Allison feeds that puck into the slot. Ruschoff throws it between the defender's legs and then does it again for good measure before he rips it top shelf behind Hunter Shepard. That is a highlight reel goal by the big guy. Broncos tied up at one. You don't look for those kind of plays out of the big dudes. That's a little guy play. He, but, he, holy cow. He had that puck on a string. Oh, yeah, he did. That was uh, that was pretty special by Austin Ruschoff, the 6'7 aviation major from Missouri. Ties this game at one. That's where we stand after one period of play. The second period is next. Capacity crowd at Lawson Arena. We're coming right back on NCHC TV and the Bronco Radio Network.
faceoff presented by Meyer. Proud sponsor of the Western Michigan hockey team because when we support the home team, we all win. Richards and Washi to take the draw. And we're underway in period number two. Western Michigan and UMD tied at a goal apiece. Hawkins win the draw, and Samuelson plays it in on the left side. Comes back around to the right. Adder held it in. Got a shot all the way through to Hunter Shepard. He pins it at his chest right at that uh, Bulldog logo in the center of his jersey, and he'll hold on. You know, as this game progresses, I think discipline going to be so huge moving forward. It's been such a physical contest between these two teams over the course of now four periods. Fatigue's going to set in. you got to make sure you're in good position so you're not taking stick penalties throughout this game and sending your team uh, opponent on the power play. Off the draw, Bulldogs win, and it comes to center. Samuelson plays it, turns it his line, moves it ahead to Washi. He's over the line, plays it over to Courtnall on the left. He'll send it in around on the right. And dug out by Richards. He'll play it back to the D-man, Perunovic. And that was fired out of the Bronco bench. Look out over there. Keith and Frank handled it right by the door. Yeah, Perunovic just sends a seeing eye rocket there into the Bronco bench from his own zone. Kind of purposely skates past the Bronco bench there, too. You know, uh, there's been some history there between these two teams. And particularly with number seven in the maroon. Uh, had a big check on Dawson DiPietro in the series up in Duluth. And you've seen some of that physical play with him involved in this series as well. Off the draw, it's played by the Bulldogs. Broncos try and hold it in, they do. Allison with a steal at the half wall. Wade skates to the corner. Went down to a knee, got right back up. Trying to win the puck battle on the wall. So far doing it, then it's taken away by Noah Cates. Tapped down the ice by Olsen. Back after it, Fiat's icing against the Bulldogs. 1907, left in the second period. We're tied at one. Other scores in the NCHC at the end of one at St. Cloud. Huskies leading North Dakota one to nothing. Later on, Colorado College at Omaha and Denver hosting Miami. Rushoff to take the face off. Against Noah Cates. Cates got waved. So Olsen will take it. And the Broncos win it. Allison back to Bafia. Shoveled it ahead to DiPietro. Dawson can't hold it in. Bulldogs tap it deep into the Broncos zone. And the Bulldogs will change as the Broncos break out. Allison to Cam Lee. Lee still with it. Skates right in front of his own net. Now he's got a head of steam. Out he comes up the left side. Here's Di Pietro up the left wing wall. It's deflected in behind the goal to Cam Lee. Throws it out in front. And it's cleared out of there by Kobe Roth. Back after it is Joyo for Western Michigan. Mike sends it ahead of Di Pietro at the line. Just offside. Whistled down. And as that, as that play initially came from all the way back in the Bronco ends where the pass was made, that's where the faceoffs can be brought back down to as well. So draw to Brandon Bussey's right side in the Bronco defensive end. Tom Stearns and Cameron Voss, our referees tonight. John Philo and Eric Frank working the lines. Faceoff will be to the right of Bussey, who catches with that right hand. Miller and McGing on the faceoff. And Hugh won it. To Joyle, behind the net to Kucherik, out of the zone to Kingston. Brett Kingston lifts it across on the right side. Trying to battle for it there is Cole Gallant. He got it into the zone, but right on the stick at Jared Hildeman. He'll throw it back to his D, then sent out to Bender in the neutral zone, and Kobe Bender plays it into Miller on the right. Miller walks in, shoots right on. Waist high saved by Bussey, and he'll hold it. Yeah, Broncos with numbers back there, and Jared Kucherik does a great job of pushing that shot taker out to the boards. Brandon Bussey squared up. That's an easy save. One fifty-seven gone in the second period. Faceoff will be stick side of Brandon this time. Jesse Jocks to take it against Drew Warren. 
Now Jack's got Wayne. Umquist will handle the draw. And then Drew got Wayne. So in steps Ethan Frank. Sticks her down. And the Broncos win it. Bofia's got it. Plays it off the boards, but not out. Battle for it over in the right corner. Bafia for the Broncos. Pokes it ahead to Paso, who bangs it off the wall down the ice. Out to Jocks, who comes from Perunovic. Bafia runs it down. Sends it across for Cam Lee. To center for Drew Warad. Pass to Frank was behind Ethan. And Jocks has it back in his own zone. Drops it back in there deep. Nick Wolf now out to Almquist in front of the Rocco bench. Almquist got it back. He'll skate it in on the right. Carries it into the corner. Pulls up there. Waits for help. Sends it to the trailer. Matt Anderson who dumps it in deep. Cam Lee in the corner. Battling there. Comes back up the wall. Dumped back in deep by Jesse Jocks. In the left corner. Olsen. Boston draft. Plays it in there deep. Sent around by Warhead. Hassel tried to whack it out of there. Pops up into the air. Now it's Played behind the Bronco goal by Cam Lee to Bafia, and Bafia chips it out of there to center. Olsen runs it down, throws it back to his D. Anderson, who fires it ahead to Nick Sweeney. He'll reverse it to Perunovic off of his skate, picked up by Anderson and dumped in. Bussey plays it away. Olsen knocked it down, tried to get a shot away before Bussey could get back in the crease, and the pass was broken up. Up the slot, there's a shot. That was blocked. Still loose in the slot area, picked up by Jason Poland. Now we got a penalty coming up as Bafia was on the ice, getting pummeled by one of the Bulldogs. Delayed penalty. Broncos get an extra attacker out there. It's in the corner. Played back and down the ice. Back after it is Matias Samuelson. Samuelson in behind the goal. Matias for Western Michigan will skate it away. Delayed penalty here. Broncos with the extra attacker. Ahead it comes to Rushoff. Over the line for Washi. Washi runs it down behind the goal. And finally touched up behind the net by Tanner Latterut. And the penalty coming up to the Bulldogs. Yeah, just an ill-advised play there by Quinn Olsen. He and Luke Bafia get kind of tangled up and both go down. And he gives Bafia three or four Minor extra penalty, cross Minor penalty, Minnesota Duluth for cross checking number 15. Into the box goes Quinn Olsen, freshman from Calgary. Two-minute minor, the Broncos go on the power play, their second power play of the game. Western Michigan, 22nd in the nation, on the man advantage at 20.2. Minnesota Loot, 33rd in the country on the kill at 80.9. Broncos on the Penn Station power play. There's a shot by McGing that went high. Held it on the right by Allison. Wade reverses it to the left side. DiPietro centered it in front. Played back to the point. Wade trying to hold it in. Can't. Broncos left to regroup. Allison through the neutral zone. Carries it over the line. It's on side. Wade plays it in the corner. Taps it in there deep. Nick Wolf there to knock it down. Sent back and all the way around. And running it down is Cam Lee. 30 seconds gone in the Penn Station power play. Here comes Lee through the neutral zone right up the middle. I had to rush off over the line of the left side. Di Pietro, that was knocked away, cleared. It hit the linesman in the neutral zone. The Broncos regrouping there. Allison backpedals to his own line, throws it back to Cam Lee. Five minutes gone in the second. Still tied to the goal apiece here at Lawson Arena. Di Pietro over the line. Drops it off from McGing on the right side. McGing pokes it in behind the net. Played to the corner by Duluth. Di Pietro runs it down in the corner. Now back to the left point. This is Lee. Walks in. Shoot. Saved by Shepard. Rebound side of the net. Loose behind the goal now. Rushoff trying to come up with it. Squirts to the corner. And it's picked up by the Bulldogs. Noah Cates has it. He's in on the left wing side. Cates through traffic. Got to the net. Pops up into the air. And knocked down by Cam Lee. Cates dangling through three Broncos. Another good chance by Duluth shorthanded. That's their goal tonight coming, well, short of man. Broncos have it back in their own zone with 25 left in the power play. Here comes Passel with a burst through the neutral zone. Over the line, poke checked away. Deflects back to center for Joyo. Two big shots at the blue line here with Adderd and Joyo, and Adderd's in on the right. Ronnie carries it in, drops it off for Passel. 
Pumped off the puck, got it back to Joyo at the point. He'll move it to pass it on the wall. Stick handling there, throws it in deep for Washi and behind the goal. Washi got crunched there behind the net. Passwood's got it now to Joyo. Waits, shoots, saved by Shepard. Rebound. Cleared back but not out. Joyo with a shot that was blocked. And it's cleared down to center for Olsen. He's behind the D. Olsen and on goal. And a save by Bussy, and he'll hold on. That's Not a, a real clean breakaway, but he got behind. He had a step on the Broncos. Yeah, big save by Bussy there, too, as Olsen sprung out of the penalty box, and big stop on a breakaway. Timeout on the ice, 13.34 left in the second. Tight at one on NCHC TV and the Bronco Radio Network. Catch the ice level highlights of this weekend series with Duluth on Bronc Review, the TV show. Thursday night at 10.30 on CW7. Coach Murray will join me as we recap this weekend series here at Lawson with the UMD Bulldogs. Off the faceoff, one by Western Michigan. Played in the corner, Kucherik taps it up the boards for Rhett Kingston. He'll chip it out in front of the Bulldog bench, knocking it away was Jesse Jocks then off of his stick played by Perunovic. He goes D to D to Wolf. Lifts it in over end. Joyo knocks it down at center. Pokes it ahead of Cole Golan who plays it in there deep. Wolf after it. Fires it around and is gathered up by Jesse Jocks. To Almquist over the line. Shots. Big save by Bussy with a pad on Luke Lohite and uh, Bulldog is down across the way. As they blow the play dead. Western Michigan, number 12, two minutes for hitting from behind. Checking from behind on Cole Galan of the Bulldog. Number two ranked power play in the nation at 27.5%. Takes the ice again. Yeah, kind of a weird penalty uh, behind the play a little bit as that puck was in on Brandon Bussey. And I get a chance to see the, the hit itself. But Cole Galan to the box and the Broncos. With a big kill here in front of him against a tough power play unit. Off the job, Bulldogs win it. Play it back to the blue line. It splits the D pair. Back after it is Dylan Sandberg. Plays it around to Scott Perunovic. And then on the right with a burst is Swainy. Throws it in behind the goal. Played there by Cates. Back to the point to Sandberg. At the half wall to Roth, the Sandberg at the blue line. Over on the right side, Perunovic. Perunovic into the right corner. Right point, Perunovic. Left point to Sandberg. Off to Perunovic, skates along the blue line. Top of the left circle to the dot. Throws it back on a reverse pass. And the shot by Sweeney is blocked into the corner. Picked up now by Ronnie Eddard. And Eddard will carry it for Western Michigan. Sends it all the way down, and Washi taps it in the rest of the way. Broncos change on the kill. Minute eight left in the power play for Minnesota Duluth. Eight minutes gone in the second period. Tied at a goal apiece. Here's Kepke through the neutral zone over the line. Sweeps it up by the net. Bussy sends it out. And the Broncos, Jason Poland, rolls it down the ice. 48 seconds left in the power play. Turning with it is Jared Hildeman to center for Cole Kepke. Out of ladder route. Throws it back to the trailer, Jared Hildeman, up the left side, Olsen. He'll play it into the corner. Bussy comes way out of the net, wraps it all the way around, poked out by the Broncos. Back after it, though, is Hildeman. To Kepke at center, turns over the line up the left side to Olsen. 
Olsen at the half wall. Bumped there by Jason Poland, who knocks it away. Broncos can't get it out of the zone, but Fia's poking at it. Finally, they do. That's Frank sending it all the way down. 12 seconds left in the power play. 11.09 left in the second. 1-1. One, one. Here's Bafia and Olsen get tangled up again. Perunovic back the other way. Here he comes with a burst around traffic over the line on the right. Drop pass for Rob over to Richards for a shot. That was blocked, and it's clear down the ice. Great kill by Western Michigan there. No real good chances by Duluth, and Western Michigan gets some momentum back. Kobe Bender over the line, bumped off the puck by the Broncos, Addered, and Western Michigan's Bofia plays it out to Di Pietro. He's in with a burst on the right on his off wing, drops it off of the trailer, Golan, it deflects back to the blue line. Joyo knocks it down there. Joyo, top of the circle, leaves it for Cole Golan, who fires it deep, and it deflects up into the netting out of play. Big, big two minutes there by the Western Michigan penalty killing units. They were very aggressive on the puck in the defensive zone. Kept the loot to the outside. Luke Bafia doing what he does best, blocking a couple shots at, at opportune moments. And Western Michigan kills off a penalty against a tough power play unit in the Bulldogs. Base out, glove side of Shepard, the netminder. Rushoff got way, so Wade Allison will take the face on. Wade won it back to Adder at the point. Adder plays it to the wall. Addis Allison runs it down there. Now Rushoff got a stick on it to Allison behind the net for Di Pietro. Dawson Di Pietro on his knees. Tried to get it to Allison, and it's deflected to center. Dawson got it back. Carries it in on the right. Delayed offside. Bulldogs gather it up. Here's a stretch pass up the left wall for Cates. Drops it off to Olsen with a shot. Stick save by Bussey. Can't hold on to it. Ruschow plays it behind the net. Intercepted by Olsen. He'll send it back into the right corner where Sweeney runs it down. Drops it off for Chalks just out there. Reversed over to the left side. Matt Anderson shoots it in. Jocks behind the goal into the right corner. Throws it behind the net. And the net comes off the mooring. Bussy trying to signal the officials, hey, the net's falling off. 9.38 left in period number two. Shots are in favor of Duluth, 16 to 10. Game is tied at one. A smart move by Brandon Bussey there is uh, yeah, play, plays in and around the net. He sees that the net's off his moorings. The officials uh, don't notice it, so kind of alerts him by pushing it off even further. Now he's actually going to head to the bench because I think his stick might have been broken as well. So. Goes and gets a new twig and face off beat his right side. Jacks on the jaw with Rusha. Sticks her down. Bulldogs win it. And the Broncos intercept. And Allison skates it away to center. Here's Wade over the line on the right side. And Di Pietro in a hair too soon. Offside against the Broncos. Yeah, Allison. Makes a move right at the blue line. Delays a little bit as Dawson DiPietro steps in offside. Timeout, 9.30 left in the second. We're tied at one. This is NCHC TV and the Bronco Radio Network. Sam Antlin, our host tonight, working the crowd with the Applebee's 
shuffle. Special thanks to Applebee's for their support all season long. The Applebee's shuttle at every home game. Bulldogs have it back in their own zone. Played bounce to Nick Wolf, fires it ahead to Almquist. Broncos intercept in a neutral zone, then Almquist got it back, moves it over the line to Jocks, and that's offside. Lowhide couldn't hold it at the blue line. And just again, another testament to Western Michigan defense really shoring up that blue line. It's tough to break into the zone with speed with possession of the puck when Got that good defense standing right there, holding the line, and Duluth's been doing the same thing at the other end. Washi. Warad. Actually, Ethan Frank's out there with Warad. And uh, Josh Passel. Deflects out in front of the net, picked up by Perunovic. He'll skate it away. Plays it to the wall for low height, intercepted and cleared back down by the Broncos. 8.50 to go in the second period. Pull go on over the wall with McGing. Puck out at center, picked up by Cole. He'll skate it in with a burst on the right. Walks in, shoots. Didn't get all of it. It kind of knuckled up there. Shepard made the save. Broncos hold it in. Now it deflects off Cole to center ice, and Buffia plays it there to Kingston. He'll rifle it in. Over to Hugh McGing, who sends it in behind the goal. Centered in front for Kingston. Comes back to Cam Lee. Campbell will tap it to the corner. Perunovic runs it down. He'll reverse it around and out of the zone, and all the way down it goes. Bafia will track it down. That's icing against the UMD Bulldogs. And a pretty tired line out here from UMD as well. So Western Michigan with an opportunity. Bus Time on Minnesota Duluth. Buster getting body surfed now in the lunatic section. And Scott Sandlin has called a timeout. He doesn't want that tired bunch out there again. So uh, we have this timeout tied at one. Let's pause for this on the Bronco Radio Network. Eight ten to go in the second. Tied at a goal apiece. Off the faceoff in the Bulldogs zone. UMD wins it. Sent around. Cleared back and carried away by Tanner Latterout. He'll tap it in there deep. Broncos play it back to the blue line. Held in at the left point by Kepke. Bussy out to play the puck again. Got it to Poland. Held in by Richards, who has the lone goal tonight for the Bulldogs in a Shorthanded breakaway, 35 seconds into the game. He sends it in, played him behind the net. Added pokes it to the corner. Tanner Latteru trying to run it down there. Now it's played by Cole Kempke, back to the point. Anderson in behind the goal. Battle for it there, into the corner. Pulling after it. He got bumped from behind by Justin Richards. There's a puck battle in the left corner. It's up against the wall. Samuelson's in there. He's got it now from Adderd in behind the net. And Matias plays it away. Reversed up the right to Jason Poland over the line. Poland to center. Washi it deflects off a ball up by the goaltender. And Shepard has to be alert to make a save. Yeah, and I don't think Washi knew that Cortinal was kind of behind him as he tries to kick that puck up to his stick. But that pass, I think, intended for Lawton Cortinal, who was alone about three strides further towards the wall. Hunter Shepard collects that puck off the skate and covers up wisely. 7.03 left in period number two, tied at one. Off face off, Broncos win it, then turn it over. 
Olsen's got it at center. Came off the stick away to Allison, and Olsen taps it all the way in. Back after it, deep in the Broncos zone. Cam Lee has it behind the net. He couldn't clear it. It's held in by the Bulldogs off the high glass behind the net. Now bouncing in behind the goal again. Luke Bafia there. Chips it over to Cam Lee. Cam moves it out to Rushoff, who taps it up the left side of Di Pietro. Back to Rushoff. He's in with speed on the right. Rushoff into the corner. Behind the net to Di Pietro. Knocks it down in the corner. Dawson kicks it to his forehand. Skates behind the goal line. Still with it in the left corner now on his backhand. Turns on his forehand. Plays it to the end wall. Dawson working hard there with Wade Allison now in control. Wade's bumped off the puck. Dawson in there again. Wade tried to go back to the point. He fell down to his knees and the pass was intercepted. Here's Cates over the line on the right side. He'll tap it in. Bulldogs changing as Bafia plays it behind his own net to Wade Allison to center. Wade from center ice. Rifles one in. Blockers saved by Hunter Shepard. Now back come the Bulldogs. Wade Allison plays the body on Luke Lohai. Now played back in by the Bulldogs around the boards it goes. Joyle runs it down. Moves it to center. Picked up there by Lohai. Now Perunovic back in his own end. Goes D to D with Nick Wolf. Back to Perunovic. Moves it out to center. It goes all the way down. That should be an icing. And it is. Whistled down for an icing call. That Bulldog bunch will have to stay out there as Coach Sandlin has used his only timeout of this game. Broncos still have one, I believe. 529 left in the second, a 1-1 tie. You know, an interesting thing here, too, it, this game, there's been a lot of stuff that I, I would say kind of borderlines a penalty. Like, the referees are looking at plays. They're letting the guys play, which is great, but there comes a time where they might have to start blowing the whistle. Kucherik. Shot deflects to the corner to pass. who runs it down. Heads up the wall back near the blue line. Cycles it back in behind the net. Drew Warhead behind the goal. Bumped off the puck by Nick Wolf, who chips it off the glass and out to center. Now gathered up by Drew Warhead. Low height intercepts. Drops it back to Wolf. Sends it up the right. Fired in by Almquist. Kucherik plays it behind his own net. Sends it ahead. Chipped in by Frank. In behind the UMD goal. Hassel runs it down there. Passel turns, centers. Goes all the way through to the left side. Pinching in is Cam Lee. Lee for the Broncos in the left corner, deep. Cam Lee tied up there by Kobe Bender. Still with it, skates along the goal line. Cam had it taken away by Bender. Nice play by Kobe Bender. He'll clear the zone. Over the line on the left side comes Miller. He's in with Shepard. There's a shot. That's Anderson with a shot, and he put it right into Bossy, who holds on. Bulldogs not shy to crash the net when they put the puck on Bussies. The Bronco defenders having to stand up tall, protect their goaltender. And we'll go to another timeout with 4.30 to go in the second. Broncos won, Bulldogs won on NCHC TV and the Bronco Radio Network. Rocco Productions team putting the sound meter up on the video boards. They want some noise. And the Lunatics respond. Face off in the defensive end for the Broncos. Western Michigan wins it and Adder chips it off the glass out to center ice. Brunovich knocks it down. Plays it over to Roth. And it's lifted into the zone. Samuelson after it. Running it down is Kobe Bender who played in deep in the corner. 
Play behind the Bronco goal. Miller after it. Comes up side of the net. Sticking it away was the goaltender, Bussy. Now at it. Sends it along the wall. Cole Gallant got crunched. Comes back in there deep. Samuelson in behind the net. Held in by Bender. Side of the net. And tapping it away as Samuelson. He'll carry it to center ice. Matias over the line offside and delayed offside. Broncos will head to the bench in a change. Perunovic skates it away for the Bulldogs through the neutral zone over the line with some speed. Trying to split five Broncos and they take it away from him but can't clear the zone. Olsen held it in. Lead around to the right corner. Choyo after it there. Cates has it now for the Bulldogs on his back end. Cates plays it around to the left side. Sandberg jumps on it there. Sandberg wearing number four. There's a wraparound try by Cates. Shot it wide. Broncos trying to get a clear here. It's been in the zone for quite a while now as uh, Washi pokes at it. Can't clear it. Held in on the left side by Sweeney. Shoots. Blocker saved by Bussy. Now Lawton Courtnall taps it back in behind the net. Adder's got it. Can't come up with it as it's deflected back into the corner. Quinn Olsen tried to go back to the point and it went all the way down. Broncos will change as the Bulldogs run it down. 2.50 left in the second. Tied at a goal apiece. Ruschoff for the Broncos. Richards for Duluth. Here's Ruschoff. Moves it ahead to Di Pietro. Passes it to himself off the wall. Then tried to work around Sandberg. We couldn't. Played around by the Bulldogs. Cole Kempke's got it. Lost it. Allison runs it down in the corner. Wade turns with it. Wade Allison throws it across for Buffia who jumps into the play. Buffia back to Ruschoff with a shot. That deflects back to... Cam Lee, then it's poked away from Cam. Back come the Bulldogs. There's Richards over the line of the right. His pass broken up by Cam Lee. Lee plays it to center for Di Pietro. It's broken up. Back in comes Richards. Taps it in deep. Kepke runs it down. Heads behind the bench. Uh, behind the net. Kepke leaves it in the corner now. Back to the left point. Anderson shot. Blocker saved by Bussey. Over on the right side. Played there by Cole Kepke. Now drop back by Laderut. Comes back to Anderson on the left side. Takes the shot. Deflected in front. Bouncing puck. Side of the goal. Played there by the Broncos, but not out. Bofia after it in the corner. Di Pietro goes in after it. Knocked down by Jesse Jocks. Still loose up against the wall. Bofia and Jocks battle. Dawson kicks it to the corner for Cam Lee to play out of the zone. And down the ice. Broncos will change with a minute 20 to go. In the second, tied at one. Bulldogs camp behind their net, burning some clock. Now Louis Rail moves it down the middle. Kucherik runs it down. Jared Kucherik for Western Michigan. Ahead to Ethan Frank. Reverses it to Warad with a minute to go in the second, tied at a goal apiece. Kucherik. To center for Frank over the line. Picked up by Josh Passel. Can't quite reach it. As he was through, but he couldn't reach the puck, and it was played away. Cleared back to center. Kucherik has it for the Broncos. D to D to Samuelson. Matias up the right side to Warad. Touch pass to Passel. Josh is in on the right side. Got bumped off the play. 38 seconds left to go in the period. Tied at a goal apiece here in the second at Lawson Arena. Samuelson lifts it in behind the net. Frank off to Joyo. Walks in, shoots. Didn't get it all, and it trickled into the corner. Way behind the goal with 24 seconds to go. Sent back around and out of the zone, and Joyo regroups in the neutral zone. Moves it ahead of Samuelson. Drops it off for Washi. Poke checked away by the Bulldogs, and fired into the zone. Ten seconds left. Joyo sends it around. Courtnall knocks it down. Lawton lifts it out to center. Picked up, backpedaling by Nick Wolf to Perunovic. Two seconds, one second, and that'll do it. Second period comes to an end after a 1-1 draw after one. The second period is a scoreless deadlock, and we'll go to the third all even at one, Alex. I mean, this, this game is a knock -em out type of game. you got both teams that are just engaging in each other, both physically, moving up the rush, playing great defense, intercepting passes. I mean, it has been a great play game defensively. And we're going to have an absolutely wild third period that's going to decide the fate of this series. We'll come back and recap this through two after we pause for a moment. This is NCHC TV and the Bronco Radio Network.
Two men in a truck, proud sponsor of Western Michigan Athletics. Whether your move is big or small, home or business, call two men in a truck. The movers who can. And Matt Wolf and his team at Wolf Financial Management are ready to help you. They're committed to helping their clients improve their financial success. Find out how they do it at WFMInvest.com. And Miller Davis, proud sponsor of Western Michigan Hockey. They were here before there were 50 states celebrating 110 years of service. Miller Davis experience matters. The Broncos go on the power play. It's a Penn Station power play. Be sure to clip out the ad in your Bronco game day program and save in your next trip to Penn Station. And join us after the game for the first National Bank of Michigan locker room show. Adam Bodner will be downstairs with interviews with Andy Murray and some players perhaps it's presented after every Bronco hockey game by First National Bank of Michigan, together we are first. Well, a 1-1 hockey game, tight checking affair, a little different than the one we saw last night, Alex. Yeah, the ice is not open up out there right now, and, and both teams, which have that defensive prowess, are showing it, showcasing it here tonight. And I think, as I may have mentioned earlier, I just I think the physicality of the series is wearing on these two teams. So. Conditioning going to be a huge thing going into the third period. Which team can find that extra gear, find that ounce of open ice and take advantage? And most importantly, who can stay out of the penalty box? The, the officials have let them play so far. And if that's consistent, you're going to see a lot more of what we see in the first two periods of a, of a tight hitting affair. Broncos went on the power play early in the first period, but 35 seconds in, Justin Richards scored shorthanded his 11th of the season from Cole Kempke. Shorthanded breakaway goal, 35 seconds into the game by Justin Richards. It was one to nothing, Minnesota Duluth. But at the 14.02 mark, the Broncos tied it up on a sweet looking play by Austin Rusha. Taps it down with a glove and plays it ahead of Allison. Wade in behind the goal. Wade into the corner on the left. Centers it, Ruschoff, stick handling through traffic. He shoots and scores. Austin Ruschoff, are you kidding me? Those are some stick hands right there, baby. I mean, Austin Ruschoff with 30 dangles right in front of Hunter Shepard. Wade Allison feeds that puck into the slot. Ruschoff throws it between the defender's legs and then does it again for good measure before he rips it top shelf behind Hunter Shepard. That is a highlight reel goal by the big guy. Broncos tied up at one. Austin Ruschop with the uh, tying goal, his 10th goal of the season. And the assist went to Wade Allison along with Dawson DiPietro at 14.02. Game was tied at one. Duluth would outshoot the Broncos 12 7 in the first period. Second period, a scoreless period. Duluth outshot the Broncos in period two, 10 to six. Two period total of 22 shots for the Bulldogs. Western Michigan with 13 shots through two periods. Two penalties for four minutes to the Broncos. Two penalties for four minutes to UMD. Bussy with 21 saves. Hunter Shepard has stopped 12 of 13 Western Michigan shots. 
Broncos won last night 5-3, to three, trying to pick up six points this weekend. It's a one-shot game right now, all tied at one in our Borges intermission. Ascension Borges, proud sponsor of Western Michigan Athletics. Their orthopedic walk-in clinic on Gull Road is your hassle-free path to recovery. More in our second intermission coming up after this timeout on NCHC-TV and the Bronco Radio Network. Robin Hook and Alex Goodman with you from Lawson Ice Arena. You know, every time uh, you come to a Bronco game, be sure on your way in to pick up your 50-50 ticket and use the coupon in the back for a buy one, get one offer at the Harvest Buffet inside Gun Lake Casino. And that uh, tally board continues to grow tonight. Yeah, I saw that thing. It's, it's, it's getting up there towards a $5,000 pot. That's a Lawson Arena record. These fans are engaged tonight. I love it. All right, I better get down there and purchase one. You want to give me one, too? Are staff eligible? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Only if we win. That's right. There you go. Broncos and Bulldogs tied at one. Next weekend, the Broncos are in Grand Forks. They'll take on North Dakota at the route. The Fighting Hawks are at St. Cloud tonight, and they're through two periods, and their game is tied at one as well. North Dakota won, St. Cloud won after two periods of play. They're in the first period, about five minutes left at Omaha, and the Mavericks leading Colorado College one to nothing. Getting ready uh, to start shortly here. After the top of the hour, Denver entertaining the Miami Redhawks later on tonight. In the WCHA, Bowling Green a 2-1 lead on Ferris in the second. Northern Michigan midway through the second, leading their rival Lake Superior State two to nothing. Minnesota State, seven. Alabama, Huntsville, nothing. And then Bemidji is at Alaska later on tonight. We scroll down to see the Big Ten, a final at Michigan. Notre Dame shuts out the Michigan Wolverines at Yost Arena in Ann Arbor. Three, nothing. Notre Dame over Michigan. Penn State has a 3-2 lead late in the third on the Minnesota Golden Gophers. And they're after two in East Lansing, Michigan State. Going into the third with a 2-1 lead on Ohio State. Here it's 1-1 Western Michigan and the UMD Bulldogs. Third period is next on the Bronco Radio Network. Thank you. 
Okay, nice to meet you again. Okay. All right, I'm doing basketball. Corey's going to North Dakota, but I'll have Ball State Tuesday. Well, this one here is a slugfest tied at one after two periods of play. But in Huntsville, Alabama today, the Western Michigan baseball team registered an historic doubleheader sweep of Alabama A&M. They won game one 12 to nothing in a shutout over Alabama A&M and then followed that one up in game two by a record setting 32 to four win in game two. In the second game of the doubleheader against the Bulldogs, the Broncos posted a school record 32 runs on 17 hits in a 32-4 win. The 32 runs scored is the most in a single game in the NCAA this season, the fourth most in the NCAA over the past two seasons. One of those games need a turnstile at home plate <laughs> just to keep count. You'll have to get a new home plate. It's probably worn out. <laughs> Well, congratulations to Coach Kernan and his guys. Here we go. Washi and Richards. Washi won the job, and Samuelson fires it in off the high glass in the corner. Karam's over in the corner. Wolf trying to get it clear. Broncos hold it in momentarily, then carried away by Perunovic. He'll fire towards the net. Stick saved by Bussy. He'll cover it up with Richards lurking nearby. Shots are 22-13 in favor of Duluth. The game is tied at one. And you just think back through this game, and there, there really hasn't been a handful of, of real great scoring chances on either side. You, know, you think Minnesota Duluth's goal coming in 35 seconds into this game has been held scoreless since, and... Western Michigan with only 13 shots on net, but one of those, the filthy goal by Austin Rushoff. But beyond that, there hasn't been a lot. It's going to be a, a tough one to get a puck in the back of the net here. Broncos can't clear it. It's held in by Cates over on the right side. Carried in deep, played off the back of the net and intercepted by Cam Lee. Back comes Cam. He's got DiPietro with him. Step for step over the line. And uh, delayed offside. Intercepted by the Bulldogs. Back they come. Nick Sweeney's in on the right side. Drops it for... Perunovic, shot was knocked away by Bussy, cleared back to the blue line, held in there by Rail, shot deflected to the corner. Whack behind the net around to the right corner. Perunovic there to play it to Louis Rail. Rail plays it in deep. 
Kate's in there deep in the corner on the right now. Drops it off for Perunovic, who's pinched in there. Rushoff knocks it away, got it out to Cam Lee. Across to Di Pietro to center. And Dawson will skate it in over the line, stick handling through traffic. Dawson's still with it. Waits for his teammates to come outside, then dumps it in as he heads to the bench on a change. And the Bulldogs gathered up in their own zone. 18-42 left in the third. Played down the ice. Kingston's got it. Back to Joyle. Joyle ahead of McGing over the line. Carries it in. Throws it to the trailer. Intercepted and cleared by the Bulldogs all the way down. It'll go. And that'll be an icing call against UMD. Yeah, Western Michigan able to break into the offensive zone with some speed as Joyo found Hugh McGing, who was able to get into the offensive zone, but a drop pass gets intercepted. Minnesota Duluth just clears it to safety all the way down the ice, but the Broncos get an offensive zone draw off the icing call. Current pot up to $5,125 in Bronco 50-50. I want to say the old record in this Play is building under review. Was Old record in this building was like 4,100, so over a thousand extra on that 50-50 pot. Who's going to be the lucky one tonight? Yeah. Doing a review here. Our third period presented by Matt Wolf and his team at Wolf Financial Management, committed to helping clients improve their financial success. Find out more at wfminvest.com. Check our mercantile bank in-game stats. Richards shorthanded at the 35-second mark of the first, his 11th from Cole Kempke. 1-0 Duluth, then at 1402 of the first, Austin Rusha with his second goal of the weekend, 10th of the season. Allison and DiPietro assisting. That time the game at 1. There was no scoring in the second. Shot so far, 25-13 in favor of Minnesota Duluth. Those in-game stats presented by Mercantile Bank, Michigan's community bank. Mercantile gets it. Find out more. Visit MercBank.com, member FDIC. Both referees hunkered down in the visitor's penalty box, checking out the video replay. Yeah, there were a couple of exchanges down kind of behind the play. In the Broncos defensive zone, Austin Rushoff and Scott Prunovich involved. Austin had his stick caught up between the skates of Perunovich over there in the corner, and then Austin came out with the puck. Perunovich stayed down on his knees in the corner. Still looking at it. Didn't seem to be anything there too um, egregious. You know, I, I, it could have been, if called live, I think just a trip. I, he kind of pitchforked him a little bit, got between the legs, but the refs decided to let him play. As far as anything beyond what was a two-minute minor, I don't, I don't see anything there. I don't think uh, my knowledge of the rules is correct. I don't think they can go back and assess a two-minute. If they go back to assess a penalty, it has to be a major penalty which there was clearly nothing there that warranted a major, so. Rocco men's basketball team fell today at home to the Toledo Rockets. Spite 21 from Rafael Cruz Jr. in his second start of the season. Normally he's been coming off the bench. Rafael scored 21, but the Broncos were outscored 13 to two to end the game and they lost 68-59 to Toledo. Broncos will be at Ball State in Mac West action on Tuesday night. We'll have that one on 96.5 Jack FM starting at 6.30. Two weeks left in the Mac basketball season. After review, there's no major penalty on the play. I think they might have been looking to see if Austin got that stick up between the legs. Yeah, you know, I think, it, well, like I said, one of those things that he definitely pitched for it from there. I think a warranted maybe two-minute minor during play, but uh, 
you know, probably looking for a spearing major if, if possible, but that's kind of a different sort of motion there. So I think the right call made, no five-minute major, and the Broncos be back in that offensive zone for a draw. Going to drop it again. Not a good drop that time by Eric Frank. And it's won by Miller. Play behind the goal. Bulldog falls down back there. Cole Gallant got it to Rhett Kingston. Kingston in behind the goal line. Tied up by Anderson, then got it over to Gallant, then it's intercepted. Louis Rail picks it off to center. Dumped in by Kobe Roth and covered up by Bussey. He'll hold on. Another one of those dump-ins. It was just kind of a chip in. Let the puck bounce a couple times before it hits the net. And you know, Boy, either way, you'd hate to see such a, a tightly played game have a fluky goal that maybe decided. So, you know, heart skips a beat when things like that happen on both sides. Good save by Bussy and a smart move to hold on to it. Face off to Bussy's right. And the face off is won by Warad behind the net for Bofia. Back into the corner. Bulldogs battle for it there. Low height after it. Hassel. Warad there comes back to the blue line and trickles off the stick of Sandberg back to center. Moves it ahead to Ben Almquist and intercepted by the Broncos. Played in on the left side by Passel. They say he didn't touch it. Passel frustrated. He got his stick on it. You can hear it hit his stick up here. Yeah, clear a, a deflection down as he kind of knocked the puck down. He couldn't control it, but missed out there. And they're going to whistle down for an ice back to the Broncos defensive end for a faceoff. And the Broncos can't change. Face off to the right of Bussy again. It'll be Warad and Noah Cates. Off the draw. It's won by Bafia. Luke with it. This it end over end out to center. Picked up by Olsen. Tried to hit the trailer and it deflected back to Di Pietro. Then intercepted again by Olsen. He's in with Sweeney and Cates. Shot deflects off the back glass. And a drive at the side of the net. Bouncing into the corner. Cam Lee taps it up the boards for Rushoff. And he'll lift it out to center. Nick Wolf knocks it down. And it's played ahead to Olsen. He's in on the right side. Olsen over to Noah Cates. Back into the corner on the right. Rushoff behind the net. Got it to Matias Samuelson. Samuelson headmans to Wade Allison. Wade up the left side of DiPietro. Dawson pulls up at the half wall. Got crushed there. Samuelson with a shot. Stick saved by Hunter Shepard. Played back in behind the Bulldog net and fired down the ice. Deflected by one of the Broncos right on goal. And Bussy had to be alert there to knock that one away. Now it deflects back to center. And the Bulldogs gather it up. That's Anderson in his own zone. Three and a half minutes gone in the third. It's a 1-1 hockey game. Here's Adder picking up a loose puck at center. Over the line to Courtnall. Courtnall has it again. Nice stick handling into the corner. Lawton still with it in deep behind the net. Hands it off to Jason Pullen in front. Washi with a quick shot, and Shepard made a point-blank save on Washi. And back comes Rail for Duluth. He'll tap it down the ice. The Bulldogs changing. Big save right there by Hunter Shepard. Here's a stretch pass for Kingston that was broken up. Roth broke it up, and Miller shoots it in. Played by Bussey, wraps it around to Poland, and cleared out of there by Washi. Now Poland picks it off, moves it up to Samuelson. Matias reverses it over the line. Hugh McGing in with a burst. McGing couldn't get around the defenseman, Dylan Sandberg. Broncos hold it in, though. Kingston with it at the half wall. Then Rhett got knocked down, and the Bulldogs, Bender has it. Drops it off for the trailer, and it's fired in by Hilderman. McGing knocks it down off the back glass. Wheels behind his own goal, and out comes Hugh. Fanned on the pass. It trickles to Bender. And then Miller flips it into the zone. Hugh got it back. Sends it across for... Mike Joyo, his pass intercepted by Jade Miller, and he'll lift it in. Bulldogs complete a change as Kucherik runs it down. Wraps it around for Red Kingston. Kingston clears the zone. It's just outside the line on the right, up against the wall. 
Kingston there. Puck battle dug out by Almquist. That's a low height. Low height with it. And Almquist. Low height's got it. Throws it at the net. Saved by Bussey. He'll corral it and hold on. 14.39 left in the third. Timeout on the ice. We're tied at a goal apiece on NCHC TV and the Bronco Radio Network. Broncos and the Bulldogs, 14-39 left in the third period. Faceoff will be to the left of the uh, Southpaw netminder, Brandon Bunsey. Kate's on the faceoff against Rushoff. Rushoff won it to Cam Lee. Cam can't clear it. It's held in at the point by Olsen. Now Bafia picks it up in front of his net. Got it to Wade Allison. Wade turns with it, flips it across for Cam Lee. He'll wheel back deep in his own zone behind the net with Sweeney in there. Cam hands it over to Buffia, then got it back and skates it away. Fires it in on the right. Di Pietro after it. It's offside. Whistled down. Yeah, just a miscommunication up the ice there. The Broncos regroup nicely, but uh, misfired pass goes all the way down for an icing call. Broncos kind of struggling to find that puck in the offensive zone, break through the barrier, and get into on Hunter Shepard, who's only faced one shot here in the third period so far. Cates and Rushoff on another faceoff. Stick side of Bussey. It's a stalemate in the circle. Now Cam Lee comes away with it. Cam will carry it right up the middle. Over the line to Wade Allison. He's got Lee streaking to the net. Got it to him. The pass went all the way through to Hunter Shepard, and he smothered it and holds on. Yeah, Wade tried to kind of loft one towards the net with Cam Lee streaking towards the goal and just trying to get a chip on that puck, but Hunter Shepard comes out to the top of the blue paint to cut that pass down and cover up. Savvy move by the Bulldog goaltender. Washi will take this face off against Justin Richards. Richards won it back behind his own net. Anderson flips it out near the blue line. Broncos hold it in. It's in the corner. Courtnall runs in there after it with rail. And then a hand pass call. Tias keeps that puck in on the blue line with a hand, but it took a few seconds before anyone was able to really touch that puck. Finally, the Broncos get a stick on it, but a hand pass called, and it's going to get brought back out to the neutral zone draw. Washi and Richards again. 1-1 tie here. All the scoring in the first period. 13.52 left to go in the third. Samuelson reverses it to Adderd. Ronnie rifles it in off the high glass. In the corner on the left, Courtnall pokes it behind the goal to Polden. Jason had a goal last night. Turns around, tried to sweep it in. Shepard denies it. Scramble in front of the net. Still loose at the top of the paint. And finally, Shepard covers it up. Gold mouth scramble there with Poland and Washi and Courtnall. Yeah, the Broncos win a board battle right behind the net. And on a Jason Poland wheel around attempt to the front. That puck is laying in the blue paint and all heck breaks loose. We got six bodies there scrambling to find the puck. And finally, Hunter Shepard buries it underneath his glove. Broncos send out the Warad Frank Hasselblad. 
Samuelson and Adder on the blue line. Drew will take the face off. Sticks her down. Drew won it back to Matias. Matias from the point got a shot away. It didn't get through. Richards knocked it down. Warad trying to poke it loose. Richards is sitting on it. And finally they blow it dead. Boy, you better be careful. There's Richards down on the ice, collects that puck and puts it underneath himself to get a whistle. The refs have let the teams play so far tonight, but that was maybe a borderline delay a game call. I think Hugh McGing is uh, pleading for that, but he's not going to get it. Broncos send out Hughes' line with Kingston and Gallant, Kucherik and Joyo at the points. Broncos rolling all four lines tonight. Here's a faceoff win by the Bulldogs. Tapped in on the left side by Kobe Ra. Kucherik after it. It's poked behind the Bronco goal. Red Kingston there to play it. Kingston moves it out to center for Hugh McGing. Hugh's got it, knocks it down, skates it in. Hugh with a shot. Just missed to the glove side of Hunter Shepard. Comes back to the blue line. There's a drive by Kucherik deflected wide of the goal. Picked up by Joyo. Plays it in deep to McGing. Now Kingston's got it. Wheels around behind the net. Kingston back to the blue line. Kucherik rifles one at the net. Blocked in front to the corner. Played back. And the Bulldogs will clear it to center. Carried out by Dylan Sandberg. Through the neutral zone. Sandberg over the line. Drop pass for Miller. Miller plays it to the corner. Back to the blue line now for Perunovic. Hands it off to Sandberg with a shot. Bouncing puck off the end boards. Knocked away by Kucherik and tapped away to Cole Gallant. Cole taps it out to center for Passel. He'll poke it into the corner. Heads in after it. Passel in the right corner with it on his forehand. He's got one of the Bulldogs on his back. Drew Warhead's got it now. Back to Passel. Turns in the corner. Josh stick handling in the corner. Throws it in front of the net. Bouncing in front. Warhead with a shot. And then went behind the net. Played there by the defenseman Sandberg. And he'll fire it down the ice. And it misses the net. That'll be an icing call against the Bulldogs. And that group will have to stay out there. Well, and out comes Ruschoff with Allison and DiPietro to take on a tired line. Frank Passo and Warat doing work down there below the goal line. And they're able to regain that puck, work it through, and get a couple of nice scoring chances. And all on the Perunovic defensive pair with Minnesota with the loose top D pair. Broncos with their top line against the fourth line for the Bulldogs here. And it's won by the Bulldogs. This is Perunovic. He'll skate it away, and they'll be able to get a change here. Perunovic skates it over the line on the left side. Fires at the net. Missed the cage and picked up by Di Pietro. Comes out to center. Dawson tapped it to Ruschoff. He'll carry it in. Ruschoff over the line. And it's broken up. Carried back out by Cole Kepke. Kepke's in on the left wing. Kepke with a shot, stick saved by Bussey. Puck's laying there, it's poked to the corner, and Ruschoff's got it. Moves it out to Dawson at center ice. Di Pietro still with it, stick handles around Laderoot, feeds it over to Washi, just out over the wall. Washi plays it in behind the goal, skates it in there deep. Washi side of the goal, trying to come up with a puck, bounces off the end boards. Now Courtney with a shot, just missed. Wide on the stick side, Karam's off the wall in the corner, and carried out by... Richards ahead to Cole Kepke. One man back is added. Ronnie turns Kepke around, and the drop pass intercepted by a back-checking Jason Poland with 10.55 to go in the third, still tied at one. Here's Poland through the neutral zone. Over the line, Samuelson. Matias in front for Washi. Deflects to the wall on the left. Washi reverses it over on the right side. Added pinching in, trying to hold it in. Can't, and it's picked up by Quinn Olsen. He'll wrap it around to Hildeman, out to center ice. Samuelson backpedaling in his own zone. Goes D to D to Ronnie Adder. Adder plays it up the boards for Hugh McGing. Hugh holds it in with some nice stick work, but then intercepted by the Bulldogs and played out to center. Picked up now by Samuelson. He'll move it ahead to Kingston. Over the line of McGing. Hugh up the left side into the corner along the goal line. Now behind the net. Hugh McGing for Western Michigan. Back the other way trying to wheel around in front. Can't get a shot away. It comes back and out of the zone. Kucherik will regroup in the neutral zone. Jared backpedaling now into his own end. Jared Kucherik drops it off for Joyo. Mikey taps it back behind the Western Michigan net. Inside of 10 minutes left in the third. Tied at a goal apiece. Stretch pass to center. Chipped in by Passel. Played by Hunter Shepard. Rings it around. 
and cleared out of there by the Bulldogs. Here they come to center. Miller ahead to Kobe Roth. Couldn't track it down. That's an icing call. We'll bring it back to the other end for a faceoff. We mentioned the uh, Bronco men lost to Toledo at home while the Western Michigan women were at Toledo, and they swept the season series from the Rockets in women's basketball. 70-58 the final today as the Broncos have now won four in a row. Jordan Walker with 21 points, five steals, and four rebounds led the way for the Western Michigan women. Four straight wins for them. And putting themselves in a position to battle for that first round by in the MAC tournament, which is so big. Off the faceoff, Broncos win it. Passel just missed on the glove side. Broncos play it on the wall, up near the net. And it's poked away. Held in, though, by Cam Lee at the blue line. Now passel has got it at the left point. Throws one up that deflects off a stick into the end zone netting out of play. And we'll go to a timeout with 9.28 left in the third. Broncos won. Bulldogs won. This is Western Michigan Hockey on NCHC TV on the Bronco Radio Network. with 9.28 left on the third here at Lawson Ice Arena. Broncos trying to sweep the weekend series from fourth-ranked Duluth. Right now, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. Pausing for an ID on the Bronco Radio Network. Washi will take the face-off stick side of Shepard. Bulldogs, Richards won it. He's a good face-off man, too. Broncos hold it in, though, deep as Kortnoff flips it back behind the goal. It's wrapped around to the left side. Samuelson holds it in. Then Ladder knocked it out of there, and it's flipped down the ice by Cole Kepke. Samuelson back after it. Richards knocked it away from him. Richards has it in behind the goal. Still out in front. Bouncing puck comes back to the blue line. Perunovic with it. Perunovic throws it in deep. Turning with it is Richards. Richards to the left side for a shot. That's Cole Kepke. Missed the net. Comes back to Perunovic. Bouncing puck. Still not out. Finally chipped out of there by Matias. Gathered up by Perunovic. Up to Laderud over the line. Plays it in on the right side. Laderud got crunched as Matias finished his check on the wall. And Adderd will skate it away. Up the right side for Rusha. Rusha lost it. Now uh, Jason Poland in front of the Bronco bench got his stick on it. Plays it to Rusha who fires it in. 8.22 to go in the third. Tied at a goal apiece. Played up the slot by the Bulldogs. Rusha couldn't reach it. Back comes UMD. Noah Cates over the line. Shot. Bussy with a save. And it deflects off a stick into the Bronco net. That went off a Western Michigan stick. Oh, and you hate to see that. Uh, Bussy makes the save, but he punches out with the blocker and deflects up into the air, and an errant stick, head high, knocks that puck into the net. Boy, with a well-played game like this, you hope that's not the final blow. I think it was a Western Michigan stick that it went off of. Not a Duluth stick, and uh, that's indeed the case. Oh, it went off of Cam Lee. Went off of Cam Lee's stick. So eight minutes to go in this one, and Western Michigan now with a goal to chase. 
Down a goal. It's 2-1 to one Duluth. Over the line is D.P. Etro. Dawson stick handling through traffic. Plays it to the corner on the left side. At the half wall, D.P. Etro. Dawson, D.P. Etro out near the blue line. Throws it in. Bulldogs trying to whack it out, and they'll carry it away. This is Cates up the right side. Noah Cates bumping with Dawson. Dawson muscled him off the puck, and a penalty coming up to Di Pietro. Dawson's going to the box for holding. 7.43 left in the third. Bulldogs two, Western Michigan one. Di Pietro into the box. Yeah. Minor penalty, Western Michigan number nine for holding. Tough call there as these uh, officials have let everything go tonight, letting the guys play, which has been great to see, but... Uh, on a very similar play, Dawson DiPietro puts the mitts into the chest and gets called for a holding call. Broncos with a penalty kill here with 7.43 left in the third. Quinn Olsen gets credit for that goal that went off the high stick of Cam Lee. Nick Sweeney and Noah Cates assisting at 11.51. Two to one, UMD. Off the draw, Samuelson plays it, added. Trying to clear it, couldn't. Bulldogs have it over on the left side. Perunovic to Olsen, over to Kapke. Walks in, shoots high off the back glass. Held in by Perunovic at the left point. And it's blocked by the Broncos' Cole Gallant. Perunovic back after it. Perunovic wheeling in behind the Duluth net. 7-18, up to go in the third. Broncos down 2-1. to one. Through the neutral zone, Perunovic throws it to the trailer. That's Cole Kapke. He'll skate it in on the right, taps it over to Olsen. Olsen plays it in, center out. Washi intercepts. Paul skates it to the end wall and hands it to Matias Samuelson. Held in by Kepke, then his pass trickles out of the zone, and Perunovic has to go back in his own end. 108 to go on the penalty to Di Pietro. 6.49 left in the third. 2-1 Duluth. Up the right side, Sweeney. Sweeney over the line. Nick Sweeney into the corner, throws one at the net, saved by Bussey. It's in behind the goal. Played by Sweeney back to the left point. Right point, Perunovic. Left circle, Sweeney. Back pedals. Goes to the blue line, Sandberg. Now to Perunovic in deep. Kate skates to the net, trying to stuff it in. Can't. It's in behind the goal. Wrapped around, but not out. Sandberg held it in. Right point, Perunovic. Trades places with Sandberg. Perunovic back to Sandberg. Dumps into the corner on the right for Kobe Roth. Back to Sandberg. Sweeney over to Perunovic. Back to Sandberg. Top of the right circle. Takes the shot. Didn't get through. Bouncing side of the goal. Poke back and out. Sweeney sends it across to Sandberg. Ten seconds left in the Duluth power play. Two to one. Bulldogs on top. Here's Cates over the line of the right. Flips it up by... Bossy will scoop it and hold on with two seconds left to go in the power play. 5.45 left in the third. Bulldogs lead it 2-1. to one. And Minnesota Duluth has found their groove here in the power play. They moved that puck around the offensive zone very well, but Western Michigan did a great job keeping them to the outside, not letting any crazy scoring chances happen. Nothing on the board yet during this two minutes for the Bulldogs. Two seconds left for the Broncos to kill for the return of Dawson DiPietro. 5.45 left in the third, two to one Bulldogs, a fluky goal off a Bronco high stick of Cam Lee. Got by Bussey to snap a 1-1 deadlock. Dawson's out of the box, puck goes all the way down. Back after it, Jared Hildeman. He'll fire it the other way. Back after it is Ronnie Eddard. Added for the Broncos. Sets up. Moves it ahead to Ruschop, over the line to Allison, Wade to the top of the circle, Wade driving to the net, shoots. Save made by Shepard, and it's cleared down the ice. Back after it is added, 5.14 to go. Added, moves it to Samuelson, Matias. Will rag it back deep in his own zone. Plays it in behind the net, and out he comes. Samuelson to added, through the neutral zone, Ronnie to center, fires it in. Into the left corner, Broncos in on the four-check, Allison. Whacked out of there by Rail, and then Wade got crashed into the end boards. His helmet went flying. Yeah, Wade took a shot up high, deep in the Duluth zone. Helmet comes flying, glove goes flying. C 
see the officials get together here. He's way away from the play. Wade is caught bleeding. Officials need to look at this. Wow. The following play is under review for a potential major. He didn't call a penalty, so it would have to be a major. Yeah, it's similar to the play earlier uh, with Ross and Ruschoff. Missed the minor call if there was to be a minor call out there, so they're going to have to find a major penalty or else it'll be nothing. Four fifty-one left in the third. While they take a look at this, we'll pause for a moment on NCHC TV and the Bronco Radio Network. After review, there's no penalty on the play. I don't think they had a camera angle to see it, but I think Wade might have knocked his own helmet off when he went flying into the glass. Yeah, I think the, the helmet coming off might have been Wade going into the glass, but I think he took a stick up high as Wade was cut. But no camera angle to really get a good look at it and nothing doing on that play, so. Yeah, it was well away from the play. And I don't, they didn't have a long enough look at it. You could see Wade hit the glass, but I don't think they had enough video evidence to call a major there. So the faceoff will be in the Bulldog zone. 451 left in the third. The Broncos trail two to one. Passel, Frank, and Warad out there. Kucherik and Joyo on the Drew Warad will take the face off. Sophomore from Ontario. Playing his 61st career game for Western Michigan. DiPietro and Ruschow each played in their 100th game last night. Milestone. Century mark there just shows uh, it's such a cool thing to hit in college hockey. Your willingness to stay and help the program, your willingness to get out there, help the team, and also the skill to be able to play for those four years and effectively. All right, face off will be to the stick side of the goaltender, Shepard. Four fifty-one to go. Shots are thirty-three twenty in favor of Duluth. Off the face-off, battle for it there. Goes into the corner. Passel trying to tie up his man. Comes up the wall, held in by the Broncos. Joyo now it trickles out. Joyo's got it back. Reverses it to Frank. He'll hammer it in off the back glass. Wrapped around. Rail trying to play it. Drew Warad took it away. Drew's in behind the net. Warad there with Passel jammed up against the end board. Passel comes away with it. Bad angle shot. Deflects all the way out to center, and Kucherik runs it down. Jared moves it to Mike Joyo. 4.15 to go. Stretch pass deflected in by Kogalon. Back after it is Louis Rail. Now stolen away by Rhett Kingston. Kingston plays it to McGing. McGing in behind the goal. Hugh McGing back out to Matias. Reversed it. Trickles out of the zone. Adder will fire it back in and it deflects up into the seats out of play. Another puck up into 22. Timeout. 3.56 left in the third. Broncos chasing one. Two to one Bulldogs. This is Western Michigan Hockey on NCHC TV and the Bronco Radio Network.
Seems like when you get to January, Alex, the season just flies by. Nate Ball, the PA announcer, talking about senior night already on the PA here during yeah, that break. It's craziness. January flies by, and we're almost uh, down to February here. It's nuts. Broncos at center with Adder. Adder throws it back to the blue line. Senior night, by the way, is going to take a good hour with nine seniors <laughs> on this Bronco team. Played over the line of McGang, reversed it. Oh, he had Gallant streaking to the net. The pass was broken up. Then Adder got up and it picked up by Gallant. Takes the shot, blocked. Now Rhett Kingston's got it. He'll fire. And that one didn't get through it. Deflected over on the right side. Adder with it. Plays it in deep. Kingston in the corner. Brett Kingston for Western Michigan turns and fires. Save. Rebound. Side of the goal. Oh, and Shepard was out of the net, but the Broncos couldn't get a shot away. Kingston plays it into the corner. Broncos after it there with McGing. Now Kingston runs it down in the right corner. Brett Kingston still with it. Out near the blue line. Holds it in. Fires at the net. Knocked down in front. Cleared back. And back to center ice. Chipped down the ice by the Bulldogs. They lead it 2-1 to one inside of three minutes. That's an icing call. That group will have to stay out there. And Andy Murray will send out some fresh troops. Here comes Allison Ruschoff and Dawson DiPietro. Nice shift there by the Broncos. And get that puck in the offensive zone, work it, and get a couple of good shots. Duluth pouring everything they have out onto the ice right now to keep the Broncos from putting one in to tie this game up. You see a lot of hands on the knees and hands over the heads out here. These guys are all gassed. Ruschoff, Allison, and DiPietro. Buffy and Lee on the blue line. Sticks are down. It's won by the Bulldogs, and Perunovic taps it down the ice. Buffy back to run it down. Bulldogs change up. Luke's got it, moves it to Dawson. Dawson flips it in end over end. Knocked down there. Cleared out of the zone. Dawson runs it down at center. Two and a half to go. Buffy ahead. Chipped in by Allison. Played behind the goal by Shepard. Tapped around by the Bulldog D-man Sandberg. And he's been able to pick up a loose puck and carry it to center ice. Sandberg drops it off on the left to Richards. Back to Sandberg. Wheels in behind the end line. Now behind the goal. Played to the corner. Allison runs it down. Wade skates it up the right side for Western Michigan. Over the line, Allison. Throws it up by the net. And he's hip-checked away by Cole Kepke. Comes back to Warhead. Now to DiPietro. Pokes it into the zone. Shepard steers it away. Picked up behind a goal by Perunovic. Scott Perunovic out of his own zone. Wheels away from the check of Drew Warhead. A minute 45 to go. We'll keep an eye on Brandon Bussey at the other end. Bulldogs lead it 2-1. to one. Perunovic just burning some time there. Now out he comes. Perunovic up the right side for Olsen. Tapped away by the Broncos. Warhead trying to run it down. Drew trying to get there first. Poked away by Wolf. Oh, and then a collision in the corner. Broncos empty their net. It's in there deep. Picked up by Olsen. Taps it out to center. Kucherik there to play it. Empty net. Broncos with an extra attacker needing one to tie here late in the third. McGing in the corner. McGing behind the goal to Passelt. Josh Passelt over on the right side. Cycles it back in behind the net. McGing got knocked down. McGing poking at it. Ruschoff is in there. Ruschoff sends it around to Samuelson. Matias off the wall to pass it with a minute to go. In the corner on the right, McGing runs it down. Broncos trailing 2-1. to one. McGing held it in over on the right side of Ruschoff. Behind the goal to pass it. Pass it in behind the net. Stick handling there. Goes to Ruschoff. Ruschoff shoots. Save Shepard. And the rebound cleared to the left corner. 42 seconds left to go. 2-1 to one Bulldogs. Here's McGing on the half wall. To the rim of the circle. Centers it. And it eludes but. Eludes uh, Joyo, comes all the way back to center. 33 seconds left. Passelt has it over the line. Lifted down the ice by the Bulldogs. 26 seconds left. Wade Allison throws it back to Adderd. 22 seconds left. Broncos trying to get some fresh troops out there. Played ahead. Washi chips it in there deep. Wrapped around and out of the zone. The Broncos will get a faceoff. Boy, Western Michigan trying everything they can to get that puck towards the net. And Hunter Shepard has to come up big once in the final minute here already. But Minnesota Duluth laying it all out there. Keeping the Broncos to the boards, blocking shots, and getting to clear any chance they get. 12 seconds remaining here, and Andy Murray's going to try to draw something up. 
And he's got a timeout, I believe. Is he going to use it? He has, and he's called timeout. 12 seconds left, 2 to 1, Bulldogs. Big face off coming. Timeout, up. Western Michigan. We'll have it for you next on the Bronco Radio Network. Point five seconds left. Broncos with the extra attacker and empty net at the other end. Off the draw, comes back to Waddard. Ronnie winds up, shoots, rebounds, shot wide of the goal. In the left corner, seven seconds to go. Passel shoots, that was blocked. Played to the corner, now on the end wall. Time taken off, and that's going to do it. The horn sounds, and the... Game is over. The Bulldogs gain a split in the weekend series with Western Michigan here in Kalamazoo. Final score tonight, UMD 2, Western Michigan 1. Our postgame coverage is next on the Bronco Radio Network.